Hey, and welcome back to Find Yourself in a Character, my weekly video series that takes us on an exploration of some of my favorite characters and their journeys. I'm Jenny D, author, consultant, and inspirational promoter of Love and Triumph. In this week's episode, I'll be talking about Finlay Donovan is Killing It by Elle Cosimano. I absolutely adored this book. It was so fun and quirky and bridges comedy and mystery together, and it just was such a joy to read. I couldn't put it down. So basically the premise is, you know, it's a single mom recently divorced, got an ex-husband with his new woman, and they're trying to sue for custody and trying to make Finley out to be like she's an unfit mother because she's trying to pursue her dreams, which is totally okay, by the way, for a single mom to do, is pursue her dreams while still raising children. She doesn't have to stop them. That was just a side note. Anyway, so she's in the scenario and she's hard pressed because she's like, she knows she needs to do the right thing to keep her children and to be able to support them. So she has this realistic struggle where, you know, there's her dreams and she can put them on hold just so that she could secure her spot with children and whatever. And then it unfolds where this opportunity comes out of nowhere for her to make a lot of money. And she's opposed to it, but her curiosity drags her into this scenario that she finds herself in the middle of some kind of mob situation and anything that can go wrong goes wrong. And it's humorous to see this plight where she's in this situation and she can't get out of it. And it's made worse by her babysitter turned co-conspirator, I guess you can call her. And it's just lighthearted, but not in a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not hokey or anything like that it's really well 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 written well done and it blends the right amount of humor with seriousness and mystery and you don't know what's going on and how it's going to end up and throw in a hot bartender and a hot cop and you know you've got the makings of love confusion in the middle of life confusion and just the way it all plays out is quite brilliant. And I can't wait to see the cliffhanger in the end, what happens in book two. And I could really relate to Finley because of, you know, the whole single mom thing, but also more like you find yourself sometimes in these dilemmas and you go, I wonder if I'm capable of that. Can I do this? That's a lot of money. I don't know if I want to turn that down. You know, is it And you question, and then you find yourself in a situation like you're trying to make it right, but it's like Murphy's Law, what can go wrong will go wrong. But in the end, like she finds that she's got more support shit that she ever thought was possible, that magic is possible, that you don't have to give up on yourself or your dreams, that anything can happen. So it was uplifting as much as it was curious and funny and all of that. So if you're looking for just like a, really cool, easy read to just lose yourself in, highly recommend this book. Well, I am Jenny D. If you want to check out more about me, you can find me at www.jennydauthor.com. Thank you for tuning in this week, and I'll see you next week on Find Yourself in a Character.